All right, before we start the electrical, we need to change the setting from here. <coughs> we go to system tab. Then, this all are for electrical over here. Under electrical, we have this arrow, electrical setting. Click that one. So, one dialog box will appear. Now, we need to talk about wire. This hidden line generals are for your information, you will know it. Hidden line is for MEP hidden line 0 0.5 thickness inside outside gap. When the cable tray passing above one to another, it will show the hidden line gap. So all the settings will appear here. General, you will see here uh, circuit disc uh, description is by, this is the system, the distribution system we have listed here. So we will see step by step first the wiring maybe from 2016 to 2017 is different the settings but most of them are typical now here wiring size we'll adjust it in this one under wiring so this gap is uh, when you create a wire again same things it will pass one wire to another wire so it will make gap only between them by 2 mm Gapping. So here for long hot wire, ground wire, and neutral. This one is for phase earth and neutral. So it shows you for a thick mark, one long wire, one. So these things we don't use it in Revit file. Only in AutoCAD sometimes. If some company recommend, we added, we just create one legend, we make line, line, line. So we need here wire size is more important. <clears throat> wire size is all wire size are filled from material submitted or from the specification what the clients are giving you. Now here we have 15 ampere size, it's written 12. Diameter of the wire, we will add it from here. Now, maybe you will have another wire type. If you want to add new wire, just press this new opacity, then the, the, the ampere of the wire, you can add it here. Most of the time, the, the uh, engineers will give us that kind of information, or we will, we will see from the specification. <clears throat> and here, conductors, also same things. New ampere, some. I'll go to wire size again. Now, if I don't like this one, this 85 ampere, if you want to remove it, just delete ampacity. It will ask you, are you sure you want to delete? If you press yes, it will go. Again, from here, material, you will choose what kind of material it has the wire, aluminum type or copper type wire. From here, you can choose it. Or if it is another type of uh, material, just you will click this add materials, then you will give it a name, then it will show up. If it is ABC, add ABC, then here, it will show up ABC. So under ABC, this all opacity we have. So we can add if you need to add more based on the specification. If you don't like this ABC, just the current view, the current material is ABC, delete material from here, delete, press yes, it will go. The temperature is more important for any wire. <clears throat> we have 15 ampere, 25 and 30. So I believe each wire have different temperature, right? Now, if you feel the temperature as per other uh, regulations, for instance, in one conduit, if it pass 80 wires, or if, uh, if they ask you 25% spare, but if the temperature is little high, we need to give it 40% spare or something. So based on they will they are depending based on this temperature. So it's better to fill it the temperature here. Now for 30 ampere wire, which is the size is 8 mm. So we will give it here the temperature either way, 75 or 60 or 90. Insulation type, we will have here so many insulation type. You can choose RHW, SAS, and NA. But if you have another additional things, you will fill it from here. If it is XLPE, let's say, you can write from here, XLPE, then you will add it there. So when you work the job, it will you will choose it from here, the insulation type. Or when you create the schedules, it will Create the schedule based on what you created here. <clears throat> here, wiring type. This is the one. And this wiring type, you can add, for instance, 
name of the wiring type let's give it XLPA is it aluminium or copper type let's choose aluminium then temperature it's 70 or 90 you can choose it from here 75 the insulation again if you add the insulation in here so that it will appear there wiring these all are listed okay I'll add one insulation new insulation XLPE so in this wiring type here we have XHH we choose from here the insulation based on what's given maximum size of the wire and neutral so these things everything was mentioned in the uh, specification so we will add it there <coughs> the voltage definition is here also now we have 120 120 uh, 140 1277 if you need to add one more voltage you will add from here 200 volt here. now 220 volt so the value you will add it here to 2b this name minimum voltage 120 you will give it based on the spec again again distribution system okay here maximum we need to add here also maximum volt 240 all right distribution system this is for our distribution board what's given for this each distribution board also we have its own category so we will add it here so if you add here this kind of distribution system so when you create here lighting fixture or any duplex or twin socket by default it will choose the right panel name from what you added there now we have here uh, 240 volt of uh, distribution system single phase and for this one is three phase we have three phase so from here we can choose delta y this once you chose once you give it the voltage number here it will change automatically how many wires it will accommodate you will mention it here so once you complete <coughs> you will go to cable tray setting the cable tray setting when you draw the cable tray you will see it but rise drop in the cable tray here we have for rising up the symbol it will show you this type of symbol when the cable tray is going up when it's dropping down it will show you again no outline same same symbol so you can choose from here by selecting when drop down and rising up symbol the size of a cable tray we will add from here let's say we have 25 size 30 45 but we don't have size 35 for cable tray so when you created a cable tray of 35 if you don't have if you if, if you didn't add it here you cannot draw any cable tray i'll share something <clears throat> i'll press ok again system cable tray the size from here it's 30 here right i'll choose 30 by 30 by 30 you mean here I can create it because 30 we have another additional cable tray I'll change this one 35 by 30 I'll create from here to here here Certified. See now, when I select the cable tray, by default it's changing it into ah certified. It's okay. I'll check it again. Size. Let's give it 1000.
And here is okay. But sometimes you cannot create it. If you draw it this way, you cannot create it because you already give the order here not to draw more than this uh, mentioned size. I will mention another size. Mm. New size. 300, 250, 250. Here I added one new. Press OK. Cable tray. From here it will come the list 250. Here it shows you 250. But 35 we don't have in this list. You cannot find it. You don't have also 1000 in this list because it's not added there but this one 45 I added it so it will come here so you can draw based on that again if you don't like it if you want to remove it you will go there same electrical 45 select this one you don't need it so just select it remove now you can see it from here no certified in conduit also it's the same things when we create a conduit how many conduit type we have here look this one is rnc sh18 from here you can see the difference we have rsh40 rsh80 rmc emt so i'll try to create one conduit conduit this one is 53 now from here 16 21 27 i need 25 mm conduit not 27 so I will create this one first. Our conduit type is RNC uh, SCH80. Okay. I'll click here and here. I'll make this one view con from view control bar, make it fine. So this is 50. I'll make it 25, but it's not shown here 25, it's only 27. So you can add that one in the setting again. Go to electrical setting and under conduit setting here size you see it's 27 but this 27 here is under what emt type of conduit from here i'll choose the type uh what was that sh80 rnc uh, just rnc type sh80 okay so we go here Conduit size from here choose RNC80. RNC80. So we have 27. So I'll add new size. I'll make it 25. Thread diameter. Inside diameter, you can choose anything. Outside diameter, 25. Minimum radius. This one is like uh, what do you call it? Limit. So it gives you 162. When you bend the conduit one to horizontal to vertical, it will give you minimum 162. But if you need to make it 90 degree or 45 degree, you cannot because here the limit is 162. We will see that one now. I will press OK. So this 25 already appear here. Press OK. Now I will select this conduit. Select from here. You see this 25 came because we added it there. I will change it into 25. Again, I'll select this one and I'll change it into 25. Control, control, control. I'll delete. Or if I change it, this one in 25, it will remove the junction box by default. Okay. So, first thing. Second, I'll add again the conduit. Twenty-five mm. This one is, look, the bend radius is 163 by default. I'll make it 90. I'll press 90. Click here. I can't. Because it's already set there. So I will adjust it there to change it into 90 degree, this one. To do that, I will go again, uh, system, 
electrical setting so conduit size 25 right first we choose from here rnc 80 if you didn't choose from here if you give for another things you cannot see it there so rnc 80 then the conduit side this one I'll, I'll select this and modify size then in this bending make it 45 then okay okay now I can change it 90 I can change it 45 because that's the minimum bending so this way we can uh, set for all conduits and cable threads sometimes sometimes from here to here I need to connect it these conduits simply I will do it trim uh, trim you know the trim right it will fill the diagonal one I will trim it but Sometimes you cannot trim it. When you trim it, the information in the dialog box will appear to you. Because you will think that maybe because of the limit, the bend radius is more than 90 or 80. Sometimes it could be like that, but sometimes it needs more gap from here. So you need to give this conduit uh, little gap far. The wall location is here, I know, in this area, the wall location, this line area, but first make it, give it gap, then trim, Connect the conduit, remove this. After that, once you connect it, you can move it by your keyboard arrow lower. This way you can use it. I don't mean that show you how to draw the conduit, just to show you the setting, how it works. Because for the conduit, we'll see it later. <coughs> System, again, electrical setting. For mechanical, it's the same things also. We go to the same location. This is for load calculations, final schedules. So this distribution system, now we talk about this. We will add here whatever you have based on the specification, 240 or 220 voltage. Then whatever it is, you will fill it with the phase. We have single phase or three phase. And here wires, we have three or four. You can choose from here and you will fill it. So once I created here any electrical work, you will see it by default the distribution board, the correct distribution board will appear to the right place. Okay, I'll remove this one. <clears throat> now we will create here duplex or two sockets in these parts of rooms. You go to system. If you need to draw any for mechanical or electrical, you go to system tab first. Then from here electrical. electrical fixture first device drop down then click electrical fixture once you click here and this properties palette it will show it now first I'll zoom in here you see this small box that's the box of the outlet so if I click in here it will it will be I, I put it here so but the looks like it looks like realistic right I don't want it that one. You can change it from here to medium so that it will show you a duplex symbol. If I change it into realistic from a fine, it will change here, same as realistic. You change it coarse, it will become like this. You change it from here medium, you need to play the game here so that to see the view how it looks like. Now select this from this properties palette. Uh, we have duplex septacle choose from here we have two type one g f c i the second one is standard this is the type for the for the outlet for this duplex outlet so the g f f f c i is for ground fault circuit inter inter interrupter this is the type of socket because we have two types of types of sockets right one the other one is like rectangle rectangle it has three holes rectangle rectangle the other one is circular like european standard type so that's for this indicating for this kind of socket i chose this one again i'll add more i go to device electrical fixture and i'll select here one and i'll create here one and here one now if you don't like this one, if you want to change it, just 
select it first and change it from JFCI. <clears throat> okay, what if we don't have here? How do you bring it from the family? That one, again, we go to device, electrical fixture, so load families, click that load families, and <clears throat> where do we go? My computer, then local disk C, then program data, same like the template, but here, this time we'll go to library, Autodesk, Revit 2017, you remember template? To choose the project templates. Now we go to libraries. Libraries, so we will use metric, yes, metric. And from here, uh, the one that we created is what? The fixture. Check it from here, electrical fixture. First, go to electrical. Mm -hmm. Then we have architecture and MEP. The architecture is it doesn't have any load or any specification because they just put it only the, the outlet itself. But if you select that one, it doesn't have calculation. I mean, it doesn't have any how many voltage it carries the socket. It doesn't have any uh, connectivity and other things. You cannot use it for mechanical. Because of that, we chose this MEP. Under MEP folder, we go to electrical power, electric power, click there. We have distribution, this, and terminal. Distribution is for distribution board, and we go to terminal. From here, you can choose the socket what you need. Now, M duplex receptacle. This one is for lighting switch. Okay, I'll choose this one, M, weatherproof receptacle, at least it will be different. Because <clears throat> this is for weatherproof type, I'll click open. So, take a look. I'll create here. And I'll create here. I'll create it here. One thing, now if you hover your mouse to this architecture, it shows me the other side, right? If you want to flip it, just before you click, you press space in your keyboard. Once you press space, it will flip it the other side. If you press space again, it will change it into another side. Click in here. So, this way you can create it. Now, if you want to change this one into WP, you can change it from here. Now it's already mentioned here. Whether proof receptacle. Select it, so it will be changed. The second one, we need to add in this area the panel because it's already given from architecture the location of the panel. Sometimes this one is shown or sometimes you can change the panel location. But if you need to follow the architecture itself, this one, you can hide it. You know how to hide already by going to PV, to Revit link, you can hide the panel. But I don't like to hide it, I'll keep it as it is for now. I'll add the panel here. So to add the panel, we need to go to electrical equipment. Go to electrical equipment. So by default, we have this one and we have some lists also. <clears throat> so from here, I'll create one panel. For instance, let me check. I'll choose this one, 208 ml or 225 ampere panel. I'll zoom in here. See now here vertical, vertical face. The other one is place on face. Place on face if you are going to put it above false ceiling or any face area. But the vertical is on the wall. You can choose it here or here. Now, I'll select here in this wall. You want to flip it, press space, then click. So this is our panel. If you want to align it, you know how to align already. Modify, then align tools. Click this one to here. Now this is our panel name. Select the panel and you can give it the panel name also. 
or what reason you put this panel here in this area we have panel name give it pp1 or any name pp or p1 or p01 this is the panel name i gave it already the panel name <coughs> So based on this, we will create the power system. To create the power system, first, we need to select the outlet. Then, you see, once you select the, the outlet, it will show you here power. Because this outlet needs power. The second way, okay, first, let me show you automatically, then one by one. I'll select this light, this four socket, I'll create one power. I'll select both of them, one, two, three, four, then click on this power. Okay, when you click when you click on that power, it will show you those chamfer wire or arc wire symbol. Before we do something, here it asks us edit circuit. If you click edit circuit so that you can add one from here, one more, one more, and one more. Now I'll edit circuit, then you see here, add to circuit, the other one is remove circuit. So I will add circuit, this part, this one, I added it. Then select panel. You can select from here the panel or you can choose from here panel name. The reason why the panel name came because we gave it already the panel name. But if you didn't give any names to the panel, it doesn't show up here. So we need to be careful on this. So I will select from here or click this select panel go and find the, the panel name the panel itself and click that one then by default it will become p01 sometimes you might have multiple panels so by default the last selected panel it will show here the panel name so you need to be careful when we choose the panel name and we need to be careful when we click the right panel name okay <clears throat> then press finish now we created one system to know how many system we created in here, just right click, browser, and system browser. I informed you last time, right? System browser is used for, I mean, to see how many systems we work for mechanical, electrical, and for everything. Before it was 00, zero if you remember last time. This all were 00. zero. Now it comes 1 in, under electrical, mechanical. What is this? Maybe ducting? Supply air? Duct. And I show you one duct right sample. Because of that, it's showing me one supply duct. I'll remove it later. Now, electrical, we have one system, which means that one is power. And it goes to P01 panel. And how many fixtures are they? Here, one, two, three, four, five. So if you select this one, which is, this is the one that we created. Again, to make the wiring symbol, just hover your mouse to this outlet and press tab once first, it will show you, then select and that's line line. After that, we can choose from here what kind of wire you want, archetype wire or chamfer wire. <coughs> I will choose chamfer wire, this is an indication only, those wires. Here we go. And this chamfer wire. It connects this duplex with this one, those four. So, if you don't like to, if you want to remove it again, this one, press. Where is it? Yeah, if you don't like the connection, this one, I'll connect it, this one until here instead of here. So, from here, I'll take it to the panel. What you'll do manually, you can do it by going to the system, then wires, then chamfer wire. So from here, zoom in a little bit, you will see one pink color circle. Let's click there, that's the center point of uh, the box. From here, you can draw it from, see, if you chose the chamfer, it will give you the right angle uh, properly. Okay. Now this one, I don't want it, this part. So select the wire and delete. This 
is an indication to the panel. You will see it in IFC drawings most of the time this type of things. You can move it back. We can move it back. Later on, we can target this one. So <clears throat> this is the first one. Second one, I'll make another additional sockets again. Now, if you want to add more, same like WP Weather Pro, in this area, just you don't have to go back again. Just right click in this WP and create similar. So it will create similar, same like that, with same offset like what you chose, one here and I'll create also another in this area so these four, I'll connect them into this power again first I'll select this one the power and edit circuit this is one by one then add all of them this, this and this are under one circuit now then finish ok, again I'll press tab, it will show me the panel name you see by default, I didn't choose anything, by default P01 came because that's my previous, the last order was P01 if you have P02 or P03 you will choose it from here <clears throat> so from here you can choose now chamfer type in this one, in this logo by clicking you can create the, the wire, otherwise you can choose from here I'll choose now arc wire, there we go now this, these two, all of them are going to this panel. Now let's check here. Electrical. The system becomes two system we have. So we can stretch it here. So we have one, the other one circuit number. This two is for circuit number. And two, under two, how many circuits we have? We have how many outlets? We have one, two, three, four. The other one is around five we have. So this way you can see it. So if you don't like it also, you can delete it from here. Undo. I undo it. How, what do you see here when you delete the circuit? You see, the wire, it will remain same place. But this arrow, you see this arrow, because this is the, what makes it the system. The home run itself is going to the panel. So once you delete the system from here, the arrow only will be removed. I'll delete number two. Sorry. Extend it. Number two, delete. You see? It's gone. So we don't have second system. This is only a symbol. So by clicking one by one the wire, you will delete. You want to create again? Once you click, you see, now once you click this for uh, outlet, the power itself it shows up. But if I click here in this wire, in this outlet, there is no power. It means it's already created the system. Sometimes by mistake we might delete the conduit, I mean the wire. If you delete, but if you see that outlet, when you select it, it's not shown up, which means it's already created as a system. <coughs> Again, sh but shortcut to, to make it faster to create, make those, select them all, then click power, then choose the panel name from here then make it chamfer or arc choose anything so this way it will go up if you don't like the routing from here if you want to change it here you can do it manually now in this area what happens it doesn't look good right so just delete this part and again create a wire This is the one you can select it like you can create it like like this just you need to have a time to make it properly <clears throat> so this way you will create it all right second things we have two all right now how to tag these fixtures tagging we have shortcut is tg the other one is by going to annotation, we have tag by category and tag by all, so we can choose it from there. Now I'll go to annotate, tag by category. I'll click in this wire, not in here. If I now look, if I select this outlet, 
it will show you P01. It tells us to which panel it's going or is which panel it's connected. I'll click in here and just move it down. Again, this one also same things. I'll click here. Sorry. I'll click here. Then move it down. If you don't like the line, I'll remove this. If you don't like this multi leader, just select the text and remove this leader over here. Remove it. Now you can select the text and move it back. This this text is belongs to the outlet. All right. Again, for this one, can move it here. Remove the leader and. Shortcut for tagging is TG, press TG and come here and click in this in the wire, it will show you this one is circuit number one. This one is circuit number one. The other one over here is circuit number two. This one is number two. And if we click here, it will come also number two. If I move this little bit, click again, click the text, you will see the move tools itself, the symbol. Just hover your mouse, click and hold it, then move it anywhere. This way you will tag it. Second thing, what if you want to change it now? In this wire, I don't want, I'll tag it first this one. Here it shows me only the wire number. But in this wire, I don't want to see the wire number. Here, this is the finalized, so I want to to see the panel number where it's connected. So to edit that one, thus editing labeling, uh, first I'll select this family, the tag. Then we have here edit family. We go to edit family. In this edit family, this surface, you see, first we select this one because this is the surface number and <clears throat> label. In this level, we have edit. We click here, one dialog box will appear. Or the second way, we click in this edit level, and another dialog box will appear. So from here, we will choose what you need. Now, circuit is there. I will add panel name. So from here, choose from this category list parameters, choose panel P. I will add it by pressing this green. So we have now circuits and panel. So it will show me the circuit number, where it's going, to which panel. Okay, <clears throat> this sample value, don't bother because you can't give it anything. It will show you only in this family editor. It doesn't affect over there. So this prefix and suffix over here, you can add more things if you want to add. Let's say uh, we have circuit number one, right? I'll add CRT which is to indicate circuit number one. So suffix, now the circuit number one, then the value will come. After that, you need to make slash, then slash or backslash you can add there. Then if you make break over here, we will see the break later. I'll press OK. Now look at it. First, circuit will come, the one that I write in prefix. Then the circuit number is one. Then the panel number, it will show you there. I will load it here, load into the project. Or if you want to use it for next time as separate family, you can save it from here, file, save as family, then you can give it a name. Later on, you can load like what we do for family, you can load it. So easily to see it, what it looks like first, we go to load into projects. Now override the existing version have a look it came like this <clears throat> edit family again I'll edit because here this one I will stretch it a little bit so that both of them will become the same place all right see now <clears throat> it shows me here circuit one going to panel number one maybe if you don't like it this way if you want it CRT1, circuit 1 above, the panel number below, again, select that, edit family, uh, don't straight this one up and down because you cannot solve the problem by doing that. If you have more text, again, it will become up and down or it will stretch up. The, you need to go here, edit level. You see here, we have an option, break. Make mark on it. So once you make mark, over there, it will break it. 
OK. Then load into project. Override the existing version. Here we go. <coughs> so this way you can do it. All right. Another thing here, I change it only for this wire type, but it changes for all. The reason why it changes for all is because I didn't duplicate this text or this family. So in Revit, the things that you need to be careful is anything when you add, when you edit any families, we need to duplicate it. If you don't duplicate it, it will the ones that you updated it will implement for all floors and for all same text type or same families. Now, if I have first floor, second floor, those type of family it will change same as it is. So your work will become rubbish again. You will be in trouble. Now I will change this one <coughs> again. I will go here, insert. For this one is okay, but in this wire type, edit family. For this wire, before I change it, in this edit type, you see, first you go to edit type, then <clears throat> the name of this type here, we have duplicate. The name of this type before is standard, so what you want to change here, you can give it rename first before you change. And the text height here is 2.5, your current, we will change it later so you can uh, compare both of it. Now, this name, let's give it circuit number circuit number okay color I'll give it uh, red and from here text font it size from you can choose but size only I'll give it two then press OK now from here I will go to edit label I don't need to show the panel name so anytime I select the wires I don't want to see the panel name I need to see only the circuit number then okay I don't like the hashtag also the slash slash I'll remove from here the circuit okay I'll keep it there press OK now load into project then overwrite existing version you see here all changes, right? I'll remove this. I'll tag it again. This one. Now. Again, I'll create another. I'll duplicate for this one also. Edit family. This we have. I'll duplicate it. Let's call it. Panel. This circuit, same name, color maybe I'll change it, different, so size 2, okay, so edit label, I'll add here panel name, add, okay, if you want to add from here, I'll add suffix, press okay, then load, all changes right now I'll target from here Tag. So once we tag here, from here you can choose the option or you can load where see now what happens here we didn't save it so it will duplicate only the things that you changed it to duplicate in a separate way. But if you saved it like a family, then it will create it into a separate way. I will create this family, I will save it different, like a different family type, then you will save. File, save as, 
from the project of a circuit on a circuit. All right, again, I'll duplicate from here, from the previous one, all the circuit numbers, then press OK. From here, edit level. I don't need panels, remove it, OK. But OK. Then I'll set it again, this one as a different, save as a family, then here, I'll give it name circuit number. Then press save. Now, when you press tag TG, so go to these tags first, then from here for wire. We only have one here, M wire tag and panel circuits. You can choose M wire tag. We have two different things. One, this one. The second one is, again, I'll make tag the default one, the first count. I'll click in here and wires. I'll choose other one, panel circuits. Okay, so from here. CTR1 yes. I'll load the family first Project <coughs> Circuit numbers Circuit number one You see now, once I added it, it's coming. From here, first I load the families, the ones that I saved it in desktop. Once you load the families, then I'll select this one. And from here, I'll choose circuit number only. So it will change all the circuit number. And in every end of the wires here, it will show us panel and the panel location and the circuit number. But in this wire, I don't need it. So I'll change it into uh, circuit number only. Here it will show circuit number here, including the panel. So again, I'll tag go to wires. See now, once I loaded it, I give, it gives me the options already. One circuit numbers and panel circuit. I'll I'll make it panel and circuit together. I'll press OK. So where do you want to click this tab? It's over here. Here it comes. Escape. You don't like it, just remove the leader. So this is belongs to this. I'll remove it again, both. Delete. If you don't like to see it here, the panel and circuit together, if you need only circuit number, I'll make tag. So when I press the tag, the default one will come the last using uh, family. So you can change it before you click there. Go to tags and, and uh, go to wire. Then from here, choose circuit number only. Then press OK. So now you can click there. You can move it somewhere else. You can adjust it. It's following. Just move it. <clears throat> this way we can edit the families and the labels. And but make sure always you need to save it as a different name. 
if you didn't save it it will give you only the final order uh, the final order family like what happens to me a while ago without loading the family when I tried it it gives me same things like this one str1 so before you tag before you tag you need to make sure which one you need to choose which one you need it like a default to come first you will choose it from these tags and you will give the setting order from here if it is wire you go to wire and choose it if it's for room you can choose also for, for rooms <clears throat> okay now what if you want to load the room tags here you see we don't have room tags right we don't know which one is which room so to do that first we agree already to go by db so from here make sure the room tags room itself the boundary is up here press r it's hidden or unhide yeah make it mark first high and hide then from here annotation check the room tag uh, room tag is hiding or not it's okay then press ok so once I press ok it will not show up the reason why because this architecture is linked file so to order the linked file where do we need to go first to link Revit link we need to go there and we need to order it go to VB again and Revit link by host make it custom so in model categories make it custom so check press R and check the rooms rooms is okay check room tag R room tag is okay now we will create the room tags for all so <clears throat> we go to annotate so no need to create the room tag by category we will create it all at once so tag all click on tag all then from here check room tag room tags <clears throat> I'll press it okay but it will not show up the reason why because of here you see include elements from linked file we need to make mark that one before that I'll make okay nothing again tag all now I'll make this one mark because the room tag is shown in the linked architecture file so for, I will make it here include I'll make it mark here then check room tags then apply okay now it will show up the room tags the scale is 150 okay so this way you will you can make the room tags all right sir <clears throat> another to do the panel schedules it's simple just only click here in these panels then here we have create panel schedules you only have two circuits so it will show us for what's those two circuits in here now create panel schedules use default template choose a template so <clears throat> those the specialists for Revit they created different type of templates for this so if they gave you the, te the family for a template you can work it based on that template but for this example for this work we will use the default template so choose the default template then this is it first I'll close this system browser here we go now it shows us the other side circuit number two is in here circuit number one is in here so the loading over here is not balanced total load is 1620 0 0 if I make it here rebalance load automatically it will balance the circuit numbers everything and here also the, the value it will be changed but the circuit number over there the ones that you see one and two it will be changed maybe one to three or one to four now look rebalance loads you see becomes seven ampere here eight ampere and zero rebalanced already so this number two is empty it could be spare or it could be space now let's check our drawing close it go to floor plan ground floor now take a look here we have one and this one become circuit number three before it was number two 
now it become number three and this one is becoming number one but when you have more and more the change will be very little small and we <clears throat> where do you check the panels the ones that you created now panel schedule it's over here you have panel schedules here p01 our panel name is this one p01 so by double click here it will show up here so when you practice at home try to create many uh, duplex over here surrounding this room in each give it to some 4444 and try to create it so that it will go into this panel schedule now when we create lighting also i'll use same panel so that you can see it what it looks like if i use same panel for lighting textures now here we have one and three there it will continue from four four five six because we are using one panel so later on i will show you what this panel schedule looks like because we will we will get more things here